Hi, my name is Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So when you are looking here, we have the Process Eye Professional, which is the software that is looking at the gas coming out of the Ultra experiment, which is currently waiting. And we've had it running for about two hours and 40 minutes not attached to the experiment. And you can see the baseline here, the, the green line is nitrogen, the gray line is oxygen, and below that um, we have things like argon there, the green line, the light green line, Obviously CO2 is way down the bottom there. And what you can see at the end here, around about the 240 mark, there's a little blip up in the carbon dioxide and that is when it was attached to the experiment. Other than that, it looks pretty similar on the right hand side with the mass numbers spanning from zero, in fact one, obviously, protium, atomic hydrogen, all the way through to 100. Okay, so the aim with this experiment is to find out whether when you are running an ultra experiment with a lot of aluminium foil in there, whether there is production of hydrogen. And so we will leave it running, doing the calibration for a while, and we will find out. Add annotation at 2 hours 40, that's 4.30 p.m. Hmm. Oh, I want to do it on the chart here. So this is the one. So I can go here. Hello. <laughs> um, So it has a note there, and that should be in the file. Mm -hmm. I think we can show me you can go there. No, whether that's picked that up, it should have picked it up. Yeah, it's got the note there. So, see, so you're setting it. See the runtime. Yeah. See whether there's any effect. Let it settle down there. Uh, essentially it's seeing mass 14, that's nitrogen on its own, 15, 13 sometimes, 16, 17, 18, then nothing, all the way through to, is that 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, then something up to 39, 40 and then 42 and 44. Not sure why we need this photo resist here. Fluorocarbon. I think they're just a hangover from something, aren't they? From the original thing that was used as a start. Yeah. What mass is that? Uh, they're, they're 69, they're not something you're going to see in this experiment. You don't expect to see a fluorocarbon. No. Yeah. So, right click up there again, you'll get the list and you can... You can turn it. those off.
Okay, so uh, it's been running uh, from, uh, well, let me have a look. Uh, can I can I look at that? No, I can't. But anyway, it's been running from here, which is about 2.38 into the control time. And it slid up a little bit here with the carbon dioxide. I don't quite know why that is. Yeah. Maybe You can it's... let it run longer if you want, Bob. No, no, it's no. I, no, I, I, think, I think really what we're looking for is to see if we see any hydrogen. That's the the most important thing here. So yeah. I think we'll just crank it on and it might take quite a few runs uh, uh, or we might not see anything. Those are the variables. So um, I'm going to make sure that's recording and that is recording. So in fact, we can see I've been recording here for nine minutes. Okay. So I'll wait till that hits the 10 minute mark. You, you shout 10 and I'll hit start. I'm going to, I'm going to run this up for uh, is it 180 the most? No, you can you can do 600s of something, can't you? No, 480. Okay, you're on the minute. Three, when you're ready. Mark. Counting down. Nothing so far. <laughs> Not that I'm expecting miracles immediately. Might be pressing start on five minute runs all day. <laughs> Take it sweet time. Starting the next 480 second run. Third sonication.
fourth sonication. Fifth, six minute sonication. So all that we see so far is that here, this is when the first of the six minutes on occasions come in and the it's been stable with the OH, but as you go from here, the OH, and it's bearing in mind this is logarithmic, mm -hmm. goes down and goes down and diverges and diverges. Mm -hmm. So. Is that something going on because of the sonication or is it because the silica gel is absorbing water and it's reducing the amount of OH in the environment? Is it, is it it's running right now? Yeah. And so you're just what, putting a... I'm putting sound in there. Yeah, it's an acoustic buffer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, the probe is under here right. and the, the idea is that we're trying to see, mm -hmm. we're trying to remove water. So right. one with... Did Alan say where he had that uh, jerry can gas? Alan? Yeah. Do you know where your fuel is? Okay. What do you know? Turns out that silica is used for uh, Purification of hydrogen generators in industrial processes. It sucks all the water vapor out of from electrolysis. Yeah. So it should work okay. Yeah. It's just I'm interested why the OH would go down. And I mean, obviously, if you've not got water going in there and it's not being split into H and OH, but then where's the H then? <laughs> Where was the H in the beginning? Well, if there's OH in there already, it's coming from water vapor that's being ionized. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So if you've and got so less water coming in, you should... In a closed environment now, you, it could be recombining with oxygen. Mm. A, lot of, a lot of options. Yeah. So many ways to screw up. Oh, sure. That's, uh, that's life. I don't really see much changing at all. Ah, because you're looking at the momentary five or six minute window. So what we're looking at here is the OH group here. You see, this is a logarithmic scale. Yeah, yeah. And if you go back here, it merges all up. All right, yeah, I see. Okay. Um, and you can actually go here and it'll tell you. So the OH is 6.04 to the minus one. And if we come down here, Uh, five point one to the minus one. Oh, so it's that's like a yeah, yeah. one over six, isn't it? Or, yeah. or it was twenty percent right. higher. Do we have the heater still on bake? We might do. Yes, I, I've certainly not changed it. So you're suggesting I can put that to warm? Yeah. Okay. And do I need to click this again? No. Okay. Good. Good. 
Yeah, so it's definitely around the five now rather than the six, yeah. which means it was 20% higher than it is now. Yeah. Um, the hydrogen here is bouncing between the minus five and eight and three and four. Back here, uh, two, five, three, and four. So it's in the noise. It's in the noise. Yeah. And I've tried increasing the the sensitivity, to drop the lower bound, mm -hmm. and you get noise in just about everything. Mm -hmm. That's the detector limit. Yeah, I noticed here actually. Um, where is it? Back here. Something happened here where we got a lot of a. Uh, uh, what is it? I don't know why. Argon. Yeah. And uh, what's that? A lot more OH at this point here. Just well, a little bump. Maybe I breathed on the two. Maybe that's it. Argon. Ma maybe when you were down there. Yeah, there's no argon. Well, let me think. Maybe there's some argon trapped in the tube when you you put it on. Yeah. It just got stuck Although in there. While it was floating around, argon is sticky. It does that. It clumps up. Right. And did I have argon in the test cell? No, not that I remember. Right. So, hard to say. Yeah. So I'm going to drop, this is the number six, I think. Well, it might be one out, but anyway. It's simple, but it's quite powerful. Yep. Yep. You got to learn what all the little funny icons do. Most of them are just changing window arrangements. Yeah. Uh, this is just playing through a sequence. That's a, 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 these are quite annoying because some of these are only useful when it's actually stopped. You know, it's, it's one of these softwares that shows everything. It doesn't quite show you. But you can hold it over here, vertical key mode. So you've got horizontal, vertical. Yeah. This is just arranging the windows. Yeah. Um, that's the scroll bar. So you can turn that off if you don't want to look through time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't guess I, I'm not going to move that because I've got it all set up on here. Yeah. Um, okay. Everything, what it, where this is context sensitive is where you click on that. So I found out that when you've got multiple things open, yeah, if you want to stop this, you actually have to click here and then stop it. <laughs> so if you put it on there, you can't accidentally stop it. It's quite useful, I guess. Quirky. It's quirky, but like it's not complicated. Yeah. See, look, I can click on this window. I'm I'm actively in this thing, but because I'm not clicked down here, I can't yeah. stop it. Well, the, the software I'm sure was written to the specifications from some silicon foundry. <laughs> yeah, so right. Here's what we needed to do. Yeah, and they just did it, and they they've used a standard panel, you know, software development thing. Yeah. Here's the data. Put it into a base because. Yeah, I mean, when we're on here, we still can't save it until you've stopped it type thing. But anyway, I've got it saving automatically. Yeah. So it's going in here. So when you stop it, it dumps the file. Uh -huh. Oh, no, it's actually saving it here. Now I can see. That's why it's big. Yeah. It's still only three, three, three meg. <laughs> uh -huh. the, the, actually, the text files are uh, about twice as big. No, not twice. Yeah, you yeah, know. Because it includes all the annotations. 60, 70% bigger. Okay. Might be a little too much now since we're used to this. Uh, That's an empty? Yeah. Yeah, behind where your suitcase is, yep. there's a blue bin. Yeah. Why minor ticks? Oh, log linear axis. Ah, there we go. Now you can't see anything. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> yes. So if you hover over Wait. each of the components, it tells you the current percentage. Yeah. Uh, which one? Where? Here. Yeah. You right click on those. What? Um. No. You were saying percentages show up. Oh, no, 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 not percentage. When you go along here, it shows you what it is. You can go along through your timeline here. Yeah. So the interesting thing is the OH started up here and then goes down, right? So that was well, really low. Warming up. It, I was told it can take hours to stabilize. Well, it did, yeah. and then it stabilized here. So we did the right thing by waiting a couple of hours. Yeah. And then it was stabilized, and then, you know. It had a little drift. Yeah. It's had a bit of drift. But you were saying the percentages before. Where are you reading? Those? No, I wasn't reading. I was going here, and I was reading that the OH is 5.18. Yeah. Whereas if you come back here, it's 6. Okay. So it's 6% higher before. Sorry, 20% higher before. Right, but it's not the percentage of the total gas no. pressure. No. No, no, no. Which would have been nice to So hold on a minute. How is the linear helping here? <laughs> no. Not. I mean, you can't see anything now. Right. I guess maybe but you can set the limits. If you're reading a percentage of doping gas and they're all down in the minus 10. Yeah, but hold on. We can use the scales here. We can maybe change the initial y-axis properties. Use the following. Oh, use the data. Okay. Let's sign it. And where's the undo button when you need it? <laughs> you know, uh, expand the y-axis to include the new recommended bounds. Force the y-axis... Uh, finish. And now I can't change that. Now why is that? <laughs> yeah. So you probably mm. were better off where you started, huh? Well, I found that. Oh, there's the log scale button. Log scale, minimum value. Okay. Um, maximum value. Let me know when you want me. Well, I want you day and night, every okay. minute. All right, fine. Um, well, that thing's ready to run. So whenever you're at a good stopping point, I can't run the tech tonight, um, but I can set up most of the stuff around what I don't have. Um, so as soon as we get that baseline. What are you line, waiting for? Huh? What are you waiting for? Baseline. Okay. I mean, I could, I could still work on other stuff. I could get it up on the car, mounted. There's other stuff I can do. We could get the baseline in a bit. So, okay. no, no immediate rush. But, All right. you know, in the next hour or so, okay. if, if you're done with the probe. Yeah, I, I, th I think I, I, I'll have had enough of this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, where did this go? I feel like this way. This feels like gasoline in the night.
Oh, yeah, we got our first hydrogen. We got our first hydrogen spike. <laughs> okay, so we've got our first hydrogen spike here just after the ninth sonication started. There was a little blip back here, but just before the eighth. We've got our first spike here, which I didn't notice. I've turned everything else off. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so it's what, minus 10 or something? It's gone to minus two instead of minus three or four. Oh. So it's, it's two orders of magnitude or one order of magnitude more than the background, but here, uh, just after I started the ninth, though it, it actually flashed up. <laughs> it, I actually saw it flash up on here. So this is, this is two to the minus two, whereas back at the beginning, it's uh, nine to the minus three or five to the minus three. Right, but it isn't persistent. These are short spikes. Right? Yeah, let's done it again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's taken its time to get there. <laughs> oh, you got one, two, three, four, five spikes. It's done it again. Look, we've actually got a curve now, mate. Put it there. <laughs> all right. Because there's, there's nothing for the first two hours. There's nothing. Yeah. Nothing at all. Well, it took its okay. merry time. I was about to give up. You see that accuracy four? Yeah. If you change it to five, it raises the bottom threshold. Oh, no, 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 no. It's coming up. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it takes a while to migrate through. The yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is cool. We're, we're almost getting a signal here. Yeah. Look, 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 look. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. And, of course, I, I think these are located in the actual vortices. So, like... It's not diluted there. That's exactly where it's produced and exactly where it's needed. Yeah. Yes, look at this. The hydrogen's coming up now. It's taken nine six minute segments. Look, you've got two and a half hours of calibration with zero, 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 zero hydrogen. Then we went, then we, this is when we put it on. And then we come along here. And then on the eighth, the second to last one. On the eighth, six minute, or the ninth, six minute is one of the two. Here. So we come back here, and there was one little spike there. And that was just before the sixth sonication. And that's AM1? That's AM1. Look, 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 look. Yes. And then this was the first spike I just noticed. Yeah. And now it's. Hey! Yeah, man. That's a freaking result. <laughs> okay. That is awesome, because I imagine that in those vortices, you know, in the yin yangs, it's that's where it's stripping the aluminium oxide off, and so it's producing the hydrogen exactly where it's needed. Yeah. It's highly localized to the point of maximum compression. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man, this is freaking awesome. I wanted to do this experiment for like, well, basically since we did the original test, yeah. like since you saw those original things on it yeah, yeah. well it was a bit after that, that i come up with it that is freaking awesome yeah. i'm very very happy with that what then you're looking for foil of the sem well we know it does transmutation but um, since the russians said in when was when was it since shishkin said that hydrogen is when i did my ultra presentation in in 2022 I said, look, you know, hydrogen is two to four thousand times easier to produce the etheric matter 
uh, from smashing it and doing proper disassociation. So back at that time, I'm thinking, I have to get the ultrasonic experiment. And when I was over here last time earlier in the year, I said, there's one experiment I want to do. And like, then I didn't do it because I got so into Bin, Bin Huang's system yeah. because there was so much beauty there. Yeah, we had some technical. And, and we couldn't get the Cirrus working, so I said, Alan, we're going to have to come back and do this experiment. Say, this is freaking awesome! Say, it looks like it's leveling off. It's like, no. Uh, no, it's, it's a climbing. It's... I mean, it kind of is, but... Yeah, well, it was leveling off all there. <laughs> but look, it's still climbing. Because <laughs> I know hydrogen, uh, aluminium can do this. Yeah. Right? So, it, and, oh, man, thank you for getting it working. <laughs> Cheers, man. Really awesome. Yeah. That's a freaking result. That is why aluminium is so good at this. It gets the thing that you need to do, the transmutation process, right exactly where it's needed. Yeah. You don't have to add hydrogen. <laughs> it makes its own. Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> I think the H2 will come later, but this is atomic hydrogen. Yeah. It's exactly what you need. <laughs> I mean, the, the atomic hydrogen recombines with whatever. What might have been happening is it was recombining somehow with the silica gel, and you had to get that saturated first. And now it's reached saturation. It, it should just climb. Yeah. But the water vapor hasn't changed. I, I can put the water vapor back on. A couple more chins. Yeah. Oh, uh, that, that's made my day totally. <laughs> Wow, what a result. What a result. <laughs> so that took... Man, I was just about to give up and hand over the spectrometer you? to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going, oh man, how long I'm is like, it going to take? So, I'm like, so if you're not like, uh, <laughs> you know, like the two. Like, like, give me that. And I was, I was going to go, oh, no, I, uh, it's going to happen at some point. It has yeah. to. And there it is, man. That is going up. That's now, That's what, got a one. What's, like, what would you expect? this level to do just continue until it doesn't matter because all i needed to show that hydrogen was there yeah. right so i have to get this to bin and i know it's not important for this but like aluminium has always been the most reactive in in ultrasound so if you look at what happened with leclerc leclerc used aluminium uh other people have used aluminium in their uh you know like griggs type devices mm -hmm. and they're going to be producing hydrogen in the cavitation bubbles where it is needed. <laughs> you just need well, what water. Do you, what, what do you mean where, where, where it's needed? Like, well, needed the, the, reason, the reason it's produced... It, so, the vortices are the most destructive part. That means that's where the aluminium is made bare. Yeah. And with the impact, you're getting the formation of hydrogen. But that is exactly where the maximum impact is. And that's where maximum vorticity is. And so, where you need the hydrogen, it, it's literally placing, it's creating it at exactly the point you need the atomic hydrogen to do the nuclear processes. At, at the point of phasing that, because as soon as you make that atomic hydrogen, that's atomic hydrogen, that's mass one. There's no other thing it can be, yeah. right? And so that has a magnetic moment. Now, do you think you it has? H two does not have a magnetic moment. A, a proton doesn't it have a slight one? Mm, uh, no. Oh yeah. No, it's okay. got two electrons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. so you need atomic hydrogen, and atomic hydrogen doesn't matter whether it's just a, an alone proton or it's a proton with with a. Uh, oh man, this is just so huge! I'm so excited. <laughs> with a proton with an electron, the ele if if it's uh, atomic hydrogen with an electron, it's got a very slight bit more uh, moment, but that's it. I mean, you've, you're going to have O2 in there, so you've got everything you need to do the nuclear process. Whereas and, and now, I mean, it might, I don't know, everything's on the cards now. Uh, so if I put oxygen here, uh, here you go. Uh, 
the oxygen's there. So you, you're, you're almost getting up to parity now with the, or, no, it's, it's a logarithmic scale. But anyway, this is just awesome. That's just going to keep going up. It might have been filling up from the top, actually. It might have been filling up from the top and it needed to fill up the whole top before it got down to the level of being on the input pro. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's a one-way house, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Atomic hydrogen, it's got a magnetic spin. It can go into these magnetic uh, face singularities. And this is the eighth cycle? Uh, it was the ninth cycle, yeah. I was just about to give up and hand it over to this guy. <laughs> you want to restart it? What? It's zeroed out. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. I think what's happened is it's filled up from the top and come down. That's why you didn't see it initially, because I expected it to be there immediately. Well, very soon. Awesome, man. Put, put it there. <laughs> That's the real result. <laughs> very, very happy with that chart. Look at that. So I've got, I've got the oxygen there, see? Mm-hmm. But that's good. That's going to come up to one to one with the oxygen. The oxygen's paramagnetic, whatever. But you can't. The OH is stable. Change. Yeah, the OH is is staying around that level. Uh, yeah. So now, after this is over, I want to check the the pH of the water. Yeah. Because I expect that to get more alkaline if you've got more OH. Because yeah. it's splitting it. So. Because so the oxygen will either go straight in and you'll get two H's out. But th this is this is not H2, this is H. Yeah. <laughs> or is it? No, it's H2, isn't it? Sorry, I got that wrong. It is hydrogen. There we go. Yeah, because it will yeah. recombine. And yeah, yeah, it, very instantaneously. But, but uh, the point, that, this is my point, is the point that it's created. If you can imagine you've got aluminium, yeah. you don't get, it would be very unlikely that you have both hydrogens, because they'd like that both hydrogens coming off instantaneously and fusing, yeah. right? You're going to have atomic hydrogen, and the difficulty with a lot of systems is that the hydrogen can't interact because it immediately becomes atomic hydrogen, which has got no magnetic moment. So you're literally creating these exactly where the magnetic forces are. It goes in. Anyway, that's my logic. But that, that is on a trend, and it's unstoppable. <laughs> Very soon it's going to hit the... Uh, the OH line, and it's going to go through, and I reckon you're going to end up with it. Yeah. Well, there's quite a bit of water, the water vapor in there still. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, the water vapor would, you know, would be 18, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, water. Yeah. It's flat line. Yeah. So, all right. But I mean... But there's the, no shortage of, of water in that reaction <laughs> No, no, no. You're going to get water. So off -gassing is going to yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, getting parity with the hydrogen, sorry, getting parity with oxygen, yeah. you know, in theory, if you kept this going, you, you could imagine a scenario where you had twice the, the amount of um, hydrogen as you have oxygen. Yeah. By volume. Oh, no, because it's H2. <laughs> uh, it's O2. Okay. You should have twice, twice the volume, roughly. Yeah. Oh, I'm very happy with that. That is that's that's worth my trip right now. <laughs> Thank you for making it happen. Don't forget to save. No, no, no. Well, I've got it on video. Yeah, but as we, well. We just restarted the machine, so you want to mark it? Uh, Aren't you marking each cycle? I, 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 oh, sorry. Is it restart it? Yeah, I don't. Oh, re I almost don't it's care down, now. It's down to three hundred. I, I almost don't care because I, I've got I've got a timestamp anyway on the video. But like, uh, you know, I, I know that it, it, it started producing or on the ninth six minutes on occasion. Yeah. yeah. So within one hour, you would see this. Yeah. I'll do it, mate. No, no, I'll do it, man. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Come here. It's a little narrow, I know, but it'll, it'll be fine. Here, we'll go from the bottom, yeah? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Mm. You know what? When you put petrol in it, do it afterwards next time. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, sweet. It's the prettiest looking one, yeah.
I mean, the, the engine and the, com the whole combination. Yeah. You should paint that the For bright now. yellow as well. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Mm. Be careful moving it around. It's top heavy. Yeah, I was going to build it a bit wider. I, I should have in, in, in hindsight. We can always yeah, strap a load of those your lead brick cave, lead cave bricks to the bottom. Could be that. Yeah, I'll put a couple little blocks on it when, when we're running it. So it doesn't uh, decide to take nice a trip. Nice job, mate. It. So... That is very satisfying. How are you looking here? Yeah, it's still climbing. Man, it's going to go up. It's just going to keep going up. I mean, you're going to maybe get to a point where it's limited by the leak rate. <laughs> yeah. Hydrogen gets through anything, and this is not the most sealed What's container. What's frequency you're hitting it with? Frequency? Oh, it's 43 kilohertz. It doesn't matter. It could be, it could be going at one hertz, as long as it's, uh, you know, standing waves. Okay, yeah, so it's just dependent on your container, basically. No. Uh, no, this one's got a piezo driver underneath. And that is, they're normally in these devices. I think we measured this at about 42.5. But depending on how much water is, it changes the load, mechanical load, and the frequency shifts. And then you've got harmonics both above and below. But the, the fundamental typically on these is about 42, 43 kilohertz. Okay. But you could put use any frequency you like. You just need standing waves. Right. But there's a, there is a sweet spot, right? Like, you don't want, you don't want the frequency too high or too. So, um, Roger Stringham, who you could consider is the... Isn't like, is like microwaves where a lot of funky stuff starts happening? Yeah, but that's a different issue. See, when you have microwaves, if you can transduce that into phonons, and this was worked out in the 1950s. Phonons? Phonons are like sound but in vibration yeah, in materials. Okay, well, no, it's like, it's, 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 mo it's vibration in, in metal. A ph phonon can be ultrasound, but you're never going to hear it because it's so ultrasound. A a phonogram, anyway. So, so basically, if you could transduce that um, into, say, a metal, and you have microwaves, the, the vibration distance can be the same distance as the interatomic spacing, right. which means you could have a standing wave that hits each nucleus of an atom, right? right? And so I, prior to Salvatore Pi releasing his uh, um, room temperature superconducting patent, right, for the US Navy, I publicly said that I believe that what's happening in John Hutchison's sample is that there is some piezoelectric effect on the surface, and I, I was holding a piece of aluminium that was affected up in Germany in, in, with the equipment that was there. And I said, this is converting the electromagnetic waves into phonons uh, uh, and producing standing waves in here. And anyway, that was done in the 1950s, and it was published in New Scientist in 1963. Uh, you got washers? Yeah. No, I'm pushing it. No. I know, I know you got them, but I'm pushing yeah, you. Yeah, they're around. Size into it as long as it doesn't work. Perfect. Thank you. 
it level it started to level off because it stopped <laughs> you're going to get a balance between the the leak rate <laughs> ah yeah now you can find out where it's leaking from To zero out. No, I'm not been drinking. <laughs> you gotta keep inching it up until it stabilizes. This is a cheap one, but it's mainly for finding natural gas leaks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. So Alan is putting a combustible gases detector near the device. Nothing, nothing, nothing. D down where the gap is there. There you go. So she'd be full. Hey, hey, listen to this. He's got a combustible gas detector and he's going where the hole is and uh Can you come from the other angle so you can get that on the camera? I don't know whether, uh, yeah, a bit far out. Hey! Combustible gas, right there. Lots of it. I'll, I'll do it on camera here. Yeah, yeah, of course. Here, so. Uh, no, I'll let you do it. No, we'll show the machine. Okay. So Alan's got a combustible gas leak detect de detector here, and he's going to put it down where the leak the gas hole is here. And there you go, it's going crazy. <laughs> nice one, Alan. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's producing hydrogen. <laughs> Yeah, so it just reached saturation, hasn't it? This will level off because it won't be able to produce faster than it can leak. <laughs> Sweet. I mean, if you put more tape around where the exit is... It'll blow up like a balloon. <laughs> yeah, probably lift off the... <laughs> yeah. You put a scale on it. <laughs> yeah, it's getting lighter. The experiment's getting lighter because it's got lighter yeah, gas in there. The was correct. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Energy's coming out, it gets lighter. <laughs> yeah. So, very nice, very nice. Yeah. Oh, good call on the combustible gas detector. Yeah. It looked like there's enough that it could sense it, and sure enough. Yeah, yeah. I like this experiment. Wow, that totally delivered. You know, Parkamov would just flick a match near it. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to do that when when uh, it's uh, leveled off. Very, very satisfying. Yeah. Yeah, that's high enough that it's five sigma or something like that. <laughs> Given the fact it was zero for three hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally. Of course, we have to do a null now. What? Water? Just to see if the sound will make hydrogen? No, to do it without the ultrasonics. Well, we see did. If it's, see if, no, see if it's just... We didn't do it for an hour. <laughs> we did. Ten minutes wasn't enough. <laughs> no. no. Okay. I, don't, I don't think water sitting in a bowl is going to start producing no. that level of hydrogen no. so you can detect it. Otherwise, someone might have noticed before. Right, but I mean, you could do a post null by... After it runs out, just let the machine run for another couple hours. I could, I could cut the hole in the top, but he wants he wants it. No, to... just let it run. The hydrogen will leak out eventually. Yeah. And the level will go down. Yeah. If yeah. it's being generated by the ultrasonic, rather than just having the aluminum in there. Aluminium, excuse me. If you had aluminium in there and it's not passivated, you might get a little bit. But not a whole bag full. Otherwise, people would be... 
in the past we'll be putting water in in a pan yeah. and uh, we, <laughs> and they'd be getting blow explosions. So are we violating somebody's patent protection? The production of hydrogen For using aluminium and sound is long gone in terms of a patent. Right, that, that's not something you can patent. I mean, like I saw paper after paper after paper with the right. Department of Energy. No, it's a known phenomenon. It's a known phenomenon, but I wanted to see if it was working in here. Yeah, yeah. And specifically mentally, I'm saying it, it is produced at the point that it's needed yeah. so that it can be in the atomic form. Yeah. Oh, we've got 19. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's the first time I've seen the 19 there. That's very important, right. Because ah. that, we might be getting into a situation now where that makes heavy water. <gasps> the 19's coming in! Oh yes! Oh yes! <laughs> right, but you should see three starting to appear if that's the case. No, 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 because it's, yes. it's, no, 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 no. The 18 is heavy water. So 18 is water, H2O. Yes. Right? 19 is the heavy water. DSO. Either, either 17 oxygen. Yeah. Or D. We're not seeing D. So this is why it would support Bin Zhuen Huang's observations. You get it? It's either fluorine. Or it's it, or it's heavy water with heavy oxygen water. Yeah. So if if we, this signal starts getting bigger, that's that's my second big wish out of this experiment. This I know should happen. This verifies Bin Dren Huang. So right, but you should start seeing DH as well because that's the preferential uh, hydrogen recombination. If there's any deuterium, no, produce, no. You're saying it's O17 doing this? Yes, Oxy oxygen 16 is uh, highly paramagnetic. It's more paramagnetic than any other gas. So when you get single oxygen, which we know we've got because we've got 16, yeah. right? That goes into the vortex, and so does the atomic hydrogen that's synthesized, and that fuses together to make oxygen 17. That is the whole principle of the proposal for Ben Zhuang. Right. And so seeing that 19 come in, I mean, it's in and out, but like if we can put in a mass number there of 19, there, it's, it's coming in and out, and I have not seen that all the time. Yeah, so, so do you want to run more cycles then to promote this? I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I, or at least want to start tracking 19 Feel here. Feel free. There's no time limit on Yeah, that. yeah. Well, the, he wants it, but I, th I think he's going to have to wait. We're seeing 19 now. We're seeing 19 come in, which is, which is heavy oxygen water. Same as Ben Zhen Huang. This, is, this is my be, second big win. Look, 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 look. You need to be saturated with extra hydrogen. No, no. The oxygen is transmuting by absorbing hydrogen and it changes from O16 to O17. Uh, so you're getting heavy oh. oxygen water because there's no D. We're not seeing D. We're not seeing a mass number of three. So you're getting seven. We're, we're seeing this 19 coming up. Yeah. It, I haven't seen it before, but just when I was here with Alan, it was like my second oh, big win. Goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You this is my second no, big no, win. No, you just got rid of it. No, no, it comes up and down. It's being recorded in the data. And what would the normal ratio of that, I mean, it'd be prime minister. Most, right? most, well, there's almost no oxygen yeah. 17. Yeah. It's like the rarest isotope of oxygen. So you basically yes. never see it. Yeah. So if we can see this coming up, that is killer. So that's, well, right. So that's, so, so if so I'm making neutrons, basically, that you're adding a neutron. Well, that's exactly like it. So, so also but you have, but you have a neutron detector. 34. Don't get me too excited, mate. Two seventeens. Well, there it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Was it there in the in the calibration? Uh. Well, lots of, third, things, lots of things could be thirty-four, right? There is no, no, not easily. Yeah. Because I argue that oxygen seventeen is both spin and paramagnetic. So, of all of the oxygen isotopes, it stays within the phase singularity right, more than anything else. Most of it is going to recombine into. O two thirty four. I know, and, and so that is the intermediary that produces carbon twelve and neon twenty. Yeah, twenty two. So look at that thirty four. Uh, no, it's not sulfur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting there. Oh, this is just beautiful. This is my favorite experiment ever. <laughs> and it's thirty five dollars plus a right. sixty thousand dollar mass spectrometer. But we put that to one side. Right. They, they, <laughs> they as much as told me they don't want it back. 
Oh, oh, we don't show them this experiment then. <laughs> they will, they will oh man, that is really happy. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah, yeah. Happy, happy. See, see what we can do. Look, this is coming in as well. That's the uh, forty-one. What's forty-one? Oh, look at that spike in nineteen. All of a sudden, forty-one is. Yeah. is a It'll it'll do what's happening here, but because oxygen is heavier, yeah. like like in the it's sphinx, like heavier. in the pyramid, it stays in the queen's chamber, right? Mm -hmm. It's heavier. What well, we if you wanted to see the oxygen peak, we should put it down at the bottom of the, of the tank. I I put this at the top. You don't want to immerse it. No, 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 in the bag at the bottom because the oxygen is heavier. The the hydrogen will force it down to the bottom. But anyway, I'm, I'm happy we're seeing the signal and it's getting more stable. Yeah. That's just love it. Very love cool. it. Yeah. Very cool. Well, shit, I came to interrupt you. I came to be like, all right, let's now, this time, surely you're done. <laughs> no, no, no. Surely nothing else Sorry. Is occurring. Sorry, no, it's getting this. No, look, it's now a hard line there. Yeah. It's doing the same thing that the hydrogen you're is. Gonna, you're going to need some time tomorrow to get the copper pipe and build Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So we can do the baseline tomorrow. Well, you know, I could start with, I, there's quite a bit I can do even without that copper pipe yeah. if we have run the baseline. Because as soon as we get that, then I can start ripping that thing apart. Um, I could, I mean, theoretically what I could do is, I guess I could just put the muffler back on. I could, I could take it off the time being and then position things as I need them. Yeah. And then. You're not going to weld the connection on, so no. you just pull it off and yeah. put the muffler yeah, on. Yeah, put it back on for the base yeah. on there. Yeah, because uh, Bob will want to run this all night, probably. Yeah. The, the, this Hydrogen was my first big win. Yes, that explains that we can make, get the hydrogen in location. Seeing 19 means we are doing transmutation. Because I know there's no fluorine in there. and I'm, So that would be 19. Right, or it's heavy oxygen water. You want to try position the probe a little further down? No, 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 no. Like, Change oh, no yeah, variable. Okay. Yeah. This is a continuous from from calibration with no device to a short ten minutes <clears throat> without it running. But honestly, if we'd have left it longer, I might not have gone through nine cycles, and I might have handed it over to this guy for thunderstorm thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It is still climbing. It's slowed down a little bit. It's slowed. Well, it's going to reach a limit between the general mix of leaks. gases that are synthesized and, and the leak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's still climbing. Yeah. Um, but the, the 19 was never there, and now it's coming up. Right. And you, you, I've got a video capture of the... The whole thing's running. No, the combustible gas detector. I've got it on my phone. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll mesh that all in. Yeah. yeah. Should run that again. I can get, get that on GoPro. Go on, then. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I got it right here. Uh, I'll I'll let the professional no, do it. You, you can it. Okay. You know, you just the sensitivity control. You can you can you set it up so it's done. Actually, can I got this uh, Sony 4K camera as well. You as you wish. Yeah, you you want to get the sensitivity down because it's a heated sensor. To where it's just right there okay all right bob what's going on right now so uh what alan goldwater my colleague here has got in his hand is a cd 100 a which is a combustible gas leak detector and this is a device that if you have anything that can burn in air uh, it sucks it in here and it then basically burns it and it knows that it's doing that and when it does that it goes a clicky thing on here so right now we're breathing normal air, which is not burning, right? Which is good. So That's a good thing. No clicky thing. No clicky thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he's going to bring it over here, and there's a hole in the back of the device where the cable and the, uh, the power cable and the sensor come out. And if I hold this down right next to where that hole is, whoa. There's clearly hydrogen or some combustible gas coming out. Since we can see hydrogen on the mass spectrometer, it's probably hydrogen. And so move it around just slightly. Oh, there you go. Just to show that it's localized, yeah. right? Yeah, get your yep. fingers off of there, Bob. 
Okay, so the sensitivity <laughs> changes on this device. It's gone mad. <laughs> That's why you don't touch the tip. Okay. Never touch the tip. So let's hit I think the I know what you mean. <laughs> I think it, it sucks some in and it's doing something in here. It takes a bit of time for it to zero out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is not an expensive scientific <laughs> yeah. device. It's a utility. Yes, but it makes a, a beepy clicky noise, which is, it feels like this. This is most, you know, like if you didn't want to die, it's always useful to have something like that around, right? Yeah. And and this this will be a brilliant device when we're running the thunderstorm generator. Because if there's hydrocarbons, they are combustible and it will be able to detect them. If it's removed HCs, it won't be able to detect them. Yeah? Yes. It's a combustible gas, not a P10 particle yeah. burning device. Yeah. It's a toolbox tool for gas appliance installers. People like that. That's what right. I got it for. Very cool. And it's been pretty reliable. Oh, look at our line team there. Yeah, it's coming up now. It's well, it's regularly there. Which is kind of this story. Why do you think it's intermittent like that, though? It's because there's so much hydrogen and we're in the top of the tank. Yeah. I think that if that sensor was down the bottom, you'd see the 19 coming through a lot quicker. Yeah. But you've got to first make the hydrogen. Yeah. You then got to make, have that running into the oxygen seven, so eighteen, whatever. Right. And that has to oxygen. be resonating in a specific way, right? For yeah, it's going to take time. It's going to take time. When you look back through. Whoa! Hello. <laughs> look through the twenties coming in yeah, there. Say, the data record, and see if that thirty-four signal was there from the beginning. I can't do that until I've stopped. I know. And Not unfortunately, I, I I would note, like to be able to. Note to self. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I add? No, th there's no thirty six. No, but can I add something here? No. Uh, edit channel. Ah, oh, I can add something here. Nineteen atomic fluorine. I can yeah. add that in there. Uh, no. Edit channel. The one I want to see is 34. 34 oxygen isotope. Yeah. I rest my case. <laughs> oh, you rest your case. Well, add, yeah. add it in. Uh, yeah, but can, how do we do that? Like 34? It's no, it's not adding it in. All this does is allow you to edit what it is. It doesn't allow you to add it in. Optionally enter a measurement name or leave blank for auto selection when this view is used. Never mind. And it doesn't show up in the panes when you select it. No, but it, it'll, it'll add it in the data. It'll be there in the data. Hold on. Mass, 34. Line thickness. Okay, if I just do that. No, it's not adding it in. Yeah. You have to add this in when you build the... Right. Which is annoying. Yeah, it is. But, there. but we can see, we'll see it in the data later. Yeah. And we're, we're starting to get the, the 19s in there, but we just start, started to see 20. Uh, and 20 is oxygen 18. <laughs> what heavy, heavy water. St still, still no deuterium, you know, DT, DT right. or, sorry, no, DH. Yeah. Oh, and you get a uh, Spanish set. Yeah. Metric or uh, probably SAE. Serial. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe um, both to be safe if you got them easily accessible. What size do you need? Uh, I don't. I don't know right now. But if you just have like a, a set of. Well, them. it's attached to the wall. Okay. Uh, I can just grab a couple. Of them. Look at that! We got the twenty coming in now.
Just for people that want to know, this experiment has not taken more than two hours to date. And we're already seeing, it would seem, synthesis of heavy oxygen water. Not heavy hydrogen water, heavy oxygen water. <clears throat> yeah, Alan, for 19, the only thing that this has as an idea is atomic fluorine. Like, atomic fluorine? Not going to survive. No. <laughs> if, hi if hydrogen reforms, fluorine's like the like, most is, reactive is thing. Is 19 stable? What's the half-life? Uh, uh, no, not 0, 019. Uh, 19 is I mean, uh, heavy oxygen water. 17, is it stable? Yes, forever. Okay. Right? But we're, we're also getting 20. Yeah. Which, which uh, you know... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's very cool. Well, the reason I ask is... We haven't done something here. For What's that? Yeah, okay, let's see. Why not? Is it, is it charged? We'll find out. It's got 75% or 70% battery. Wow, your counts are low here. Yeah. Oh, my, mine are 11 in my office. Yours are half that. Not, not that this is anything worth talking about. Well, this, this concrete is almost 50 years old. Mm -hmm. Not that it matters to potassium. <laughs> no, it's nothing going to change potassium. It's, yeah. point, uh, it's a third of the life of the universe, according to what we're expected well, to believe. I measured at the floor and it isn't any higher. That's just uh -huh. that Right. What have we got? Four. I'll see where the air comes out, the gas comes out. No, there's nothing there. I'll, I'll leave it on top just for fun. Not even sure that's in shot, is it? Kind of. I can't see it though. No, there's nothing there. Right, just for those that want to see. Nothing. Point the X123 out of it, it's pretty sensitive. Electronic noise, so. Well, I think that that's going to be more useful, but like, I only, yeah, I don't know. It's it's not going to get through anything, is it? It's not going to get through a bit of water vapor. No. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, the charge was up because I hardly ever use this one. Yeah. Well, you you have a much fancier speedometer, don't right, you? Right, but when I walk around, I, I yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, carry that. Yeah, yeah. Thirty-four. Thirty-four is not anything other than oxygen isotope. So you may have to stop the scan to add that because it's not one of the. It, but the, it records in every bin. Yeah. yeah. So the, the data will be there to replot. Back and look at it. Yeah. yeah. And also you can play back through time and on here, and when you replay it in the viewer, you can see these bars yeah. change. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the hydrogen's still going up. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a little bit of an asymptote going there, but. Why can't I turn that? There's got to be a way to turn that on. I mean, it's not fluorine. This, this Ben's going to be so happy because, like, he said, like, why are you seeing fluorine in in the um, uh, why was he? Why would you think you're seeing fluorine in the DHX two? Because it doesn't yeah. have a a, a a refrigerant. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, why can't we add that? For mass channels, you may double click them to... Uh, 
Ooh, did that add it? No. Mass, channel, channel. Ooh. Note, no, auto. No. Uh. I mean, it's literally only got the option for things that normally exist. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. So 34 there is an oxygen isotope. And, oh, we can add that in. It's already there, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. It's no, 44. I haven't got it there. It's 44. 44 is CO2. Yeah. 34 is here, right? There. Yeah, and it's substantial. It's substantial, yeah. Oh, what's that coming in there? Noise, probably. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the 19's there the whole time now, pretty much. <clears throat> and look. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, Three pop up. Yeah. Um, Which could be noise. Yeah. We should keep an eye on it though. So yeah. um, the total length of this experiment since I started recording is only two hours. So, um, oh God, I'm not even showing the real time. Yeah. Oh my God, it's overtaken the oxygen. Whoa. I mean, that is, as we said, it might end up being twice as much. It's more than twice as much now. I imagine it's going to be totally displacing the oxygen there. So, yeah, to, to see the oxygen isotopes or the heavy water, we'd have to be down low. Because <clears throat> uh, where's oxygen 17? It would be this one, wouldn't it? Uh, that's 15, 16, 17. It's this bar. If right, that, but that could be OH. Well. Yes, it could be, yeah. <clears throat> well, let's bring up OH, because we actually have that. <laughs> oh, that's going up. No, it's going up a lot. This is logarithmic. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it went down. Compared to O2. Yeah. It went down, yeah. and then it's gone up. And it's st still going up. Yeah. <laughs> Put it there, my friend. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so that, that might be not OH. It might be heavy oxygen yeah. and OH. <laughs> so you've got the static uh, heavy ox uh, he static uh, OH, 16 plus 1. And then yeah. you've got the actual heavy oxygen. Wow, look at that hydrogen, that's crazy. Yeah, very cool. Now I want to be able to change the amount of time shown on this timeline to squidge the data. Uh, we should be able to do that. Um, general properties to the selected pane. Um, x-axis we want to change isn't it yeah use new that's for the bounds y-axis grid that's the y-axis time axis aha display elapsed time um 10 minutes Ooh, let's change that to 30 minutes ah. there you go. <laughs> isn't that a lovely thing it is <laughs> Where's the screenshot? Eh? That well, it's it's doing it the whole time, right down here. Yeah. And you're recording 4K. Uh, just 1080p. Oh. The same resolution as the screen. Right. And I'm I'm pumping that up, and yeah. you know. Plenty good. Yeah. Oh, I need to hit them. I'm not going to get any gases if I'm not doing the thing.
<laughs> no, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so here we are seeing hydrogen 2.74, and down here we are seeing minus, well, basically zero. <laughs> <laughs> seven times 10 to the minus three. So this is at least three orders of magnitude more <laughs> and still rising. Um, let's see if I can just raise, extend that out because there's, I think, oh no, that's the first spot there. Um, yeah, and that Y and the legend here. So I'm going to do that to 60 minutes. Fifty nine, it is then. <laughs> there we go. Just tapering off just a little bit. The There's one little blip there, and that was after we started. Yeah. Very nice. You guys want a Clementine or whatever this is? Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Phil, Phil, check it out. Yeah. So. Nothing, 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 nothing. This is when we put it in, but we what didn't we do it. Hmm? What are we looking at? Uh, this, hydrogen? this is the whole thing, but I'm only looking at uh, hydrogen, oxygen, and OH. Mm -hmm. And OH could be oxygen 17. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it comes up and it stabilizes here, right? So we've stabilized. And what do I put here? Added ultra experiment, but turned off. So that's when we put it on. Okay, and then this here is the first six minute of sonication. So up to that point, zero hydrogen registered. Yep. Second six minutes, third six minutes. There's a fourth there that I'm missing, five, six. So I'm, I'm one out. Yep. So between the sixth and the seventh, we've got one little blip. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> uh, can you see anything different? <laughs> now the oh, interesting... I don't know, what am I... <laughs> It's at least three orders of magnitude. Kind of confusing <laughs> yeah. Can you see a trend? Yeah. Um, but here's the thing. Look at the OH. The OH starts to go down here, and that could be absorption in some way by the silica gel, okay? Because it's reducing the amount of water available, okay? But here, it starts to go up again. It's going up, and it's going up, and it's going up. Why? It's making it. No, because it's not OH. It's actually oxygen-17. And it's taking oxygen 17, which might be oxygen 17 and 16, fused in O2. It's coming in, so that's heavy oxygen, right? Okay. And then it splits it, and so you're getting a higher signal at mass 17. But it's actually not oxygen. It's not actually OH. It's right. oxygen 17 and right. oxygen 16. Interesting. Or, or, or it could be oxygen 17 and proton as an OH. <laughs> and yeah. then that's splitting and, produ and producing a bigger 17 number. So yeah, this totally supports Binter and Huang's work. Very and look, we're, there's the there's the oxygen line. The hydrogen is far higher. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt about it. That is that is killer. That that graph there. Very cool. Yeah. What are you gonna call this one? I don't know, but like. You gotta come up. With, it's like. You understand? Uh, t t 2022, 23, 22. T two years have been wanting to do this experiment, but I've been going out of my mind. I imagined it in so many ways. And Alan says, oh, no, we'll never be able to do it. And I said, no, I just want to wrap it in a bag because <laughs> it's hydrogen. It's going to float to the top. I mean, what other source could it possibly be? We oh, know I... that aluminum can be used to produce hydrogen. Yeah, That's other... the first win. The second win is, is it going to produce heavy uh, oxygen yeah. water and heavy oxygen? And if it is, done. That that is transmutation there. That signal there. Now, will you rewrite the other? It? The other one is the other one is splitting water. This is trans right. transmutation. Will you, will you rerun this with the probe further down? Into the uh, we, it can be. I mean, it's not a complicated experiment. I mean, yeah. it's only been going two and a half hours total, yeah. like other than the four, two and a bit hours of calibration or background. But yeah, you can see there's moisture coming up here, so it's, it was worthwhile having that to dry it, so you don't yeah, get the signal. That's a good idea, yeah. Totally saturated. No, might be my all-time favorite Lenner experiment, other than the Ultra itself, Tr transmuting 
matter that a three-year-old can do. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so we said 43,000 hertz? 43,000? Uh, 43 kilohertz, yeah. Yeah. But th th this was bought for $35. Yeah. That's it, done. <laughs> I, I was told we need trillions to, <laughs> to do science. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> So it really does look like it's leveled out, but that, my friends, is the money shot. Nothing, 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 nothing. Absolutely nothing. All the way over here. Stabilize here. Put it on the experiment. And then this is the first sonication. I missed a couple of slots here, probably. Need to adjust those anyway. Basically, took some time to fill up the bag. So we have one camera there, the Targus that's giving the overview. That is the one that's looking at the time and the sampling of the gases at the top here in between these silica gel bags. Comes out of here with the power, round here into port four of the MKS uh, Spectrum Series 2. And if we go round here, we can see that's your money shot there. So. This is hydrogen that came in, and that was, uh, I guess, the first sonication happened about uh, 3.26, and the last sonication before it started coming in happened at 4.28. So it took about an hour, and then the hydrogen started coming up. This is the oxygen line. <clears throat> now the other interesting thing is the stabilization here of the OH, um, that stayed stable, dropped down a bit when we added the, the device, but then it started creeping up, creeping up, creeping up, creeping up, creeping up, and I am arguing that this is actually not OH, because it's not water that's going in, this is actually um, oxygen 17. And <clears throat> you can see here, the 19 signal, which is heavy uh, water, heavy oxygen water, okay? Then 18, 17 here. This would be mass 17, and this is it part heavy oxygen. And then over here, you can see here, 34, that is heavy O2. Heavy O2. Okay. What a beautiful experiment. Oh, and there we go, we're recording it down here. And we're going to do another one.
Okay, so we've done some experiments with the neutron detector and it's given us mixed results. Um, I'm still looking out for explanations as to what the mass numbers 41 and 42 are. And we're going to see if we ever get any mass number 21 here. But the 19 is regularly there, as is the 20. What is that 41 and 42? And why can I not see this anymore? Now we can see it. Yeah, that's all, right. that's all I need. Too much ambient light. It's fine. No, no, that's okay. Well, it, it washes out the display. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't improve it. I think I just need to go into that's this one, isn't it? And just go configure video. So going there. Do you activate? Activate. It's just weird. Well, it's just the uh, brightness is like. Huh. Well, all you're looking for is the numbers, right? So. Yeah, yeah, the numbers are all I need. Yeah, so scale it down. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'm I'm, ha I'm happy with that. It's fine. <laughs> Just to show the seconds. Yeah. Yeah. I want to. He's got my phone, and I was just gonna, I was doing a search on what mass number, what elements or molecules, isotopes or molecules can have a mass of forty-one and forty-two. Half -life decays to for the yeah, okay. But where would the argon come from? Well, that would be coming from the air and partial pressure in the water. But like the, wa the water was deionized, but then you'd still get argon in the water. Right, but short half life there's none in the air. So, but hold on, beta minus. So, what's the energy on the beta minus there? Can we detect that? And also, you, you've got you've got argon forty two there, right? Since That's got a yeah. But look at the half life on it. Yeah. It's long. yeah. Okay. So look at 
swap tables, what can yield argon-42? I oh, know, it's just add, adding... Uh, okay, I, I'm going to look at molecules. Yeah. Because it, the likelihood of that occurring is limited. <laughs> But it is a candidate, of course. I mean, the, the signal for 41 and 42 is it, it keeps going up and down, but it like it wasn't there. I don't recall it being there at the beginning. I've seen a pretty broad spread on the Argon Peak before. You think it might just be getting across that? That's why you'd really have to look with the analog interface mm -hmm. and see what the curve shape is. Mm -hmm. If it looks like the shoulders of the curve, I would say, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's probably detector smear. Okay. Typically what I see is the 36 and 38. I don't think I've ever seen the 42. So there's no natural occurrence of it. No. So. Okay. Okay. I have my salad and tea. Okay. I'm on it too. Well, in that case, what I'll do is I'll stop this and switch to the one. I've got a profile uh, change that I can make here to actually look on the... Um, we're not seeing anything above 44, so I'll just tie that down. So I will stop this one now. I'll stop it here. Boink. And then I'll edit this. And I've already got it set up. So you can do this. You can go switch to analog here. Okay. I'm going to turn the uh, number of mass down. Okay, so <clears throat> we are doing spectrum mass analysis here. And I'm going to turn it on again. That is definitely not a side peak. Mm -hmm. The 41 and 42, Alan said it might be a side peak of... Uh, like just like a after effect? Like a false... Uh, no, like here, here's the peak of Argon 40, mm -hmm. right? 
uh, and it could be a side peak, but that's not a side peak. That is a separate peak, and that's a separate peak. The 42 is a separate peak, and the yeah. 41 is a separate peak. It's not like it coming no. down like no, that, no, no. Right. <laughs> and it's picking it up. Yeah, like, it's like over here. Yeah. No. And, and again, here, we've got the 19 and 20 are definite peaks. It's great. It's definitely not a side peak. Those are definite yeah, separate peaks. I agree. I agree. I agree, but there's the three poking up. I know. It's good news. Yeah. And the 34 is very clear too. Very, very clear. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah. The 19 and 20 are rock solid in this. Uh, I'm going to do another test to see if the uh, there is argon 41, that the peak is maybe argon 41. 
which has yeah, a beta decay. The, the yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'm seeing about 14 counts per minute. And uh, we'll put it near the device here. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 18, 20. Twenty one, twenty nineteen, twenty. I'll take it away. And it's drop. No, it's still at twenty. Take it away over here. Okay, so I'm walking away, and I have got going down to fourteen. 15, 16, 16. Okay. So I put the speaker on. Showing about 19, right, 20 here, so nothing special. Uh, I'm going to bring it near to the device. Don't know. Is there the, a way to test, the, I other like, electronics to see if it'll trigger it? Or is it, you think it's like frequency related? To the highs of it? Uh, maybe. Um, just seeing, you know, there's these two isotopes of uh, um, argon that are in this 4142. So it's, it's a, yeah, it's a guide counter. Seeing it, it doesn't seem to see anything here. It's gone down to 12. Boring. You see. Boring. <laughs> no, I like the fact there's no radiation. Right. I'm going to turn this on again. No, nothing really interesting on that stays at the kind of basic 16 to 20 something range. No interest in there. Well, it should return to ambient. Yeah, so cut the top and vent. 
So yeah. get the scissors and we'll do, I can't add an annotation at this point. Scissors are out with the tape. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, thank you. You wanna see, see it return to ambient? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the top of the bag and Hmm? No, I'm going to cut the top of the bag and um, and see what happens to the gases. Anyone want to light anything? <laughs> yeah, that's me. I just wanted to get that out of the... Out of the yeah, I don't, I don't want it to where it can't fall down. Be sure, yeah, I, just didn't, I didn't want to put that on my stuff because I don't want to just uh, fall through. I'm going to back up here. In theory. So, okay. Makes you feel any better. That light is its old gimmick. So, if you yeah. break it, it's not. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Well, the whole closet thing is bulbs. Yeah. UV bulbs? Yeah. Oh, oh, UV bulbs. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So All right. The the air the Anyone want some hydrogen? Did you bring your. Uh, Optical spectrometer to the camera? You didn't. Sorry, which one? Optical spectrometer. You had. No, I didn't. It was a slit. And it was yeah, I didn't bring it. Do, have you got your one? I never built it. Oh. No, I, I've. I, oh, did we need it for something? He's got a UV lamp to Oh, it. those lamps are well described. Okay. Yeah. So. And I don't think it's. Critical. You're measuring right now, right? I'm measuring right now, so, so gonna see, if the, if gonna see. Well, yeah. It goes back to Andy. Which one? One would expect it would do. Are you filming yourself, Bob? God damn it! I am. Yeah. Well, kind of. Yeah, you can do it. Do it with a proper film camera. Here. Yeah. 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 You read you on your poster. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm. Um, I'm cutting this open at the moment and we're going to let the ambient get in there and just see, okay, should I lose the hydrogen here, filling the room up with a bit of hydrogen. And so I'm going to open this out and there is the sampling port. So we should get something a little bit more approaching ambient air in the sampling in a second or two. Takes... Delay because of the oh yeah, it's got to suck it all through, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, we've lost the forty-one completely. Uh, there's the hydrogen dropping out. I don't know how long this will be in the system, but I'm still sitting above. It's still got the sampling point above the experiment, so maybe I'll cut it right out of there. Move the experiment away. Yeah, the 19's dropping. 20's staying fairly strong. But then if it's heavy water, maybe, yeah, if it's heavy water, it could be all the way along the pipe. <laughs> it could take a bit of time to suck out. Let's see what happens to that 42. Mm -hmm. mm, staying pretty robust. So what could that be? What is that 42? <coughs> I'm going to cut this right out and move the thing out of the way. like surgery, taking sutures out, try not to hit the mains wire, <laughs> right and we get rid of that, okay and that one's the last one, there we go, okay so the sampling is completely free, taking sampling air over there, out of the way, 
and uh, that's sucking through whatever's available in the local atmosphere. And uh, what have we got? So I guess we'll be returning to, yeah, the hydrogen's almost completely gone now. And the idea is that the 19 and the 20 here are heavy oxygen waters. They might be a bit persistent. Not really dropping on you. No, but like if the water's condensed in that pipe all the way along, because mm. <laughs> the whole thing's full of water in there, right? right? It might take quite a bit of time to clear that yeah. out. It's got to pull it all the way along that pipe, which is about uh, 0.75 or of a meter. So that might take a bit of time to suck through. The 41 went very quickly though. Yeah, it's gone. So what was the 41? I don't know. You don't think it was argon? Could, could, could have been argon, yeah. Like, hmm. What is the 42? <laughs> I don't know. Super yeah, argon. well, hydrogen's completely gone now. Yep. Oh, uh, and now the 19 starting to drop and the 20. Okay, so it's going to take some time to pull it through. That, so that actually supports the idea that this is heavy water. And because it's water and it's condensed potentially in that whole tube, it's going to take some time to suck through. Yeah, the, the 19 and 20 is now starting to drop. But the fact that it's taking time is maybe... The, the whole thing in there is full of water <laughs> that's come out. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the 42 is persistent. Uh, the 45 is now gone, whatever that was. Yeah. Uh, it was not a lot, but it was there. The 34 was persistent? Uh, the 34 is persistent. Now, what is that? That could be... That could be sulfur dioxide. Could it? Sulfur dioxide, and then it's the sulfur 34, which is two oxygen 18s. Mm -hmm. Oxygen 17s. Okay. Yeah? Which is the intermediary in Bin, oh. Bin Jirin Huang system, and if it if it comes out as sulfur dioxide, or sulfur dissolved in water or entrained in water, I don't know. Yeah. That could take a long time to clear. Yeah. Uh, is it dropping? It's not dropping at all. But what could the sulfur be as well? All right. There was. You see, actually, it's in the um, software here, in the Cirrus docs, it's got a, where is it, here? Uh, there's a document here with stable isotopes. Some natural isotopes there. Uh, so... Mass, 34. Sulfur, there you go. Mm -hmm. Heavy isotope. And that, in my view, is two oxygens fused together. There's no other 34 it's option. stable? Yeah, stable, but it's rare. Mm -hmm. It's 4.22%. Mm -hmm. But that is the fusion of two oxygen 17s, which, and that's the intermediary that leads to the carbon and the neon 22. We didn't see any 22. Did it run long enough? What was it? Why? 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 I don't know. The 42 is persistent. If you want a sanity check, you can go to the Cirrus tab on the bottom and change the intake port. Ah, uh, yeah. 
I I'm kind of want to record the decay here, though. That's the thing. Yeah, I'm just saying for yeah, because I won't be yeah, much longer. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do is unplug port three. Yeah. And port three is open. So. Okay, you just need to switch to it. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah, you're going to have to leave that for an hour. Yeah. You're right about it taking time to pull through there. Oh, yeah. So it must be sucking just a diddly squat. Yeah. Do hmm. it downstream from the, from the capillary, uh, right at the entry to the chamber, there's a, a, what, a five micron uh, pinhole, right. or something like that, right. the restrictor. And yeah, it's about one atmosphere pressure. So, so do you think it, part of the lack of the hydrogen might have been just sucking out the volume of the tube? It is the volume isn't that great. Yeah. Uh, it, because I'm just thinking for his experiments tomorrow, like how long do we leave it? Five to ten minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. But it's looking pretty noisy right now. Another thing you could do is heat up the capillary tube with a heat gun. Mm -hmm. You mean to for drive off any water vapor that yes. might be in there? Because there's going to be water vapor in there. Oh, yeah. And that's that's what I think is causing this. Yeah, and it sticks to the stainless steel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hit the dusty trail. All right, mate. Yeah, no worries. There. Sweet. Uh, good yeah, job today. Good one, yeah, you know. Okay, we're going to test the uh, temperature in here. Got to free the bags. Take this all out. Oh, wow. Looks like there's uh, quite a lot of moisture in there. Okay, that's that one. Okay, so when you pull the trigger, the thermocouple is, is the top number top number okay but it's set no it's showing max what what why is the laser not working Sweaty. A little bit sweaty in there. Okay, so no idea what to expect in here. Not like that. Okay. Wow, it's actually steaming <laughs> nearly. What we're looking at is the bottom number there. Okay. Is that Fahrenheit? Yeah. 159. Can you switch it to centigrade for those of our European followers? It actually feels like a warm bath in there. is the, the emissivity is, is way off. Well, it's looking at the floor, isn't it? Yeah. 
So call it 74. Can you use the uh, IR on there and see if it will pick it up? 76, 80 degrees C. On the, on the metal, yeah. Yeah. It feels hot, 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 actually. You can see where it's actually worked in there. So that's cool. Yeah, the, foil, the foil is over. It's been boiling. Yeah, like I say, it's steaming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's been chewed up quite a bit. Yeah, too. yeah, in various places, yeah. yeah. So I'll mm -hmm. leave this here. Yeah, cool. Mess with it some more. Um, yeah, so. Uh, put this away. That, yeah, it actually feels like it's like cut, like boiling, basically. Uh huh. <laughs> well, it's a good thing the probe was nowhere near the, you know. The, yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's basically uh, around about 100 degrees. I you think you've got to line that up so the spots are joining together, haven't you? Uh. That is hot. As you go through this, you can see the different levels of consumption of the aluminium as you go down through the layers. Thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.